Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, this is Jack Sputnik here, and today we are going to talk about Ziyun Crane 2S. So, the legendary gimbal in new version. And there's been a lot of videos on YouTube about, like, you know, about this gimbal, what is, what is it for, and is it good or is it bad? So I'm not going to talk about all the unnecessary details, I just want to talk about my personal experience and my recommendations, who is this gimbal made for, and what is great about it, and what is not so great. So let's talk about it right now. So one of the things I love about this gimbal is how it's made. Like it's it's really, it, it shouts quality, you know, like uh, everything, like even this golden logo, look here, <laughs> the Ukraine. It, 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 you can see that it, it is it is very well made. It is, it is a great piece of equipment. One of the things I love is this axis lock. This is super important because like when you lock it, it really stays in its position and you can lock all the axes here. So when you want to transport this gimbal, you see, it locks and it stays. So when you want to transport this thing, it's very easy. This is one of the things I really appreciate. The other thing I really appreciate is the option of, of sliding in and sliding out your camera with this special slide in slide out system. You just have the button here, you have the release handle here and you can slide out your camera, you can mount your um, Arca Suisse or Manfrotto um, tripod mount and you can put it on a tripod, you can put it on a slider depending on the system you are using. This is absolutely great because all of you guys that were working a lot with gimbals, you know that sometimes you just want to detach your, your camera from, from the gimbal and put it on something else real quick. So this is a huge improvement. Small thing, but great. One of the things I love also is that this option of accessing menu here on this OLED screen. So before in Gimbal 2, you had to access the menu of the camera to, for example, adjust the motor strength in, uh, in your phone. So you had to connect with Bluetooth from your phone with your phone and then use special app for that. Now you can access everything from the level of uh, this OLED screen, which is great. Another thing I love about this, 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 this gimbal is this, this mount here, so you can mount a lot of accessories that are visible on the Ukraine um, website, like for example, wireless transmission of the image, which is great when you work in bigger, you know, like bigger, with bigger setups with the crew. And uh, when talking about the crew, this gimbal is designed for professional use uh, to me. Um, would I recommend to one, one man army, like one, one man, you know, band? I'm not sure because the biggest flaw of this gimbal to me is its weight. It's, 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 it's very comfortable, by the way, you know, this, this handle here is very comfortable and it's made of carbon fiber, so theoretically it should be light, but when you put something serious here, it is not very light. And, you know, working all day long, for example, and shooting like wedding film, like I do a lot, you may need a good, mem you know, good, uh, good uh, fitness membership somewhere <laughs> in your town, uh, just to strengthen your la your hands because this thing is heavy, and this is to me the main flaw of this of this gimbal. And honestly, rest of it is very good. I mean, if if I'm to be like you know like picky, I'm not crazy about uh, handling here about the menu here. It it works flawlessly, and if you are used to Zhiyun or Feutech, it works great. However, when it comes to clarity of the mode you are in, uh, to me, DJI Ronin, for example, it's like clear from the very beginning. Okay, this is the mode we are in. You have the indicator of the mode. It's easy to switch. Here you have this double click thing. Um, you know, handling is not difficult. If you are used to gimbals, it's okay. But if you are a newbie and you want to start right away out of the box, you have to do some, you know, th there is some learning curve there, but Hey, this is this is a little this is just a little thing. The other thing that uh, this gimbal gives you is the ability of shoot vertically. If this is something uh, you're up for, you know, social media thing and, and stuff. Some people want to shoot uh, vertical videos nowadays, so you have this option. This gimbal allows you to do that, and uh, you have you also have special support for bigger lenses in uh, in the box to make it even more stable. So now let's talk about stability. When it comes to stability, this is when, it, when this gimbal shines, really. And this is something I left for, you know, the best I left for the end. 
um, take a look at the shots. It's, it's been just casual walk with my family, with my son and with my two sons actually and my wife. And I put a Sony A7 Mark III with 16 to 35 f.4 with the cage. It is stable despite this, this setup is, is quite heavy. It kind of force you to, to make moves smoother because of this weight. So this is when, when weight plays a, a, a good role here. Like it's a good guy because, because it makes you, it forces you to, to, to be more careful with all the setup and you know it flies you also can do amazing jeep uh, shots or shots from the low angle and this is very easy to master or you have this epic vortex thing uh, to uh, available with this gimbal you also have two modes that are not that common like a go mode and pov mode and you know like all these different modes to uh, fit your style of filming Okay, you also have a lot of functions for photographers like time-lapse or panorama mode, which works very good. And this is something that uh, makes the value of this gimbal even better. Something that I like also is that you have free replaceable batteries that you can charge. You have, of course, charger included in the, included in the box. And this thing is actually very good because when you know DJI run in some of the versions, you just have to recharge it. When it's that, it's that. It has to wait. With this guy, you know, it lasts forever on these batteries and uh, it's easy to charge. Also, it indicates the charge level here on the screen. So, to sum up, because I don't want to keep you too long, this gimbal is great. It is high quality. It's made of, of good materials. You can see right away. You can adjust some settings of the motor straight from the menu here on the OLED screen. Um, you can lock the axis for transportation. Uh, you can also like change, you can remove this part and change your filming style so you are sure that your screen in the camera, if you are not using external screen, is never obscured. So there's, um, it's, it's clear that ZUN was listening to their uh, users, to some suggestions of the professional filmmakers out there, and, and they improved a lot of things here. However, the one downside for me is its weight. I would love to see, for example, the gimbal, uh, this gimbal like Zion Crane 2S version L, for example, like light or something, you know what I mean? Um, for those guys like who, like me, like light setups, easy setups that you can run all day long and shoot all day long. Guys, let me know in comments below if I forgot to mention something important about Zion Crane 2S. If I didn't, just please don't forget to leave thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, and I see you guys in the next one.